what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today, we're going to be talking about an unlimited XP farm that you guys can do yourself and it's been blessed by Sledgehammer Games themselves. It's part of the main easter egg. All you have to do is keep collecting a part that's there and given to you, so there doesn't seem like there's anything wrong by doing this. Now, I did go from Prestige 1 all the way to Prestige 9, ready to go into 10. I'm not going to do it, but I'm right here ready for it to happen, and that is where I'm going to stop ranking up. I recommend you guys do the same, but if you go on to learn anything today, drop a like on the video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And if anything here sparks an idea, feel free to hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. It is very important to note the timing of when you can actually achieve this XP farm, and that's at a certain part in the hardcore easter egg. And it's not difficult to get there. As a matter of fact, you know of the right hand of God. It's one of the very first easter egg steps you have to get through while you're defending the tower. You have to defend the lightning rods on top of the tower. Then when you go and examine the right hand of God, downstairs you can activate the switches which will then grant you the ability to open the panel and once that panel is unlocked see you're gonna be seeing all this in the background I just wanted to say that's sort of where you need to be you need to unlock those panels shine the Brenner head do the combination get the coins and bam put the coins in you got the red talent you guys are here you're fans of World War II zombies so you probably want an update on where sledgehammers at addressing zombies and there was a man by the name of Mike Southpaw over on Reddit, who posted five things World War II Zombies needs to make this year better. And some of the things that he listed were daily challenges for XP and zombie crates, zombie camo calling card challenges, and a camo for doing them all, improving hidden characters and prestige rewards, and in parentheses, unique abilities, passive perks, a new mode, and his suggestions were zombie defense, turned, easter egg speedruns, I'm thinking along the lines of a PvP mode that I want as well. Uh, zombie rewards for doing zombie easter eggs is something else that he suggested. Fun consumables, recolored pack camos, and XP. Well, Sledgehammer did reply to this. Hey there Mike Southpaw, we've seen various threads expressing support for these things. It's great feedback, and we have passed along to our zombies team and are taking it into consideration. And are taking it into consideration. This is what we've been wanting to hear, fellas. Bounties, weekly and daily challenges. I think we're going to get them. And this is the best sign of hope we've had moving forward. I mean, it was great that the zombie supply drops were fixed. Now, there's this XP farm that you can get your hands on with the Red Talon. And we're going to get to that point. I'm just saying, it's an amazing time if you're a Zombies player to get out there and try to get as many ranks as you can in. Because they might actually patch this and they may not have this in as an intended feature but it's here as a feature right now so you might as well take advantage of it while you can now the reason this is an XP farm and not an actual glitch it's probably considered glitched by sledgehammer but this is a farming method because it's part of the main Easter egg and it's naughty glitch here, a glitch there, let's just talk about taking it to the most extreme measure. If you go with four players and you glitch all into each other, you can really get this thing popping. And I'm telling you, this will happen very, very fast. Now the XP is simply just by collecting the red talent. You don't have to glitch at all, you can just come over here and pick it up and keep picking it up over and over and over again and have one of your friends just train a zombie upstairs and you can just be collecting this and you both will be rewarded massive XP amounts and you will rank up severely fast. Now with four players, we were able to go through an entire prestige in 30 minutes. So it raises the question of is this a game breaking XP farm? It is. And with two players, it's going to take you about an hour, I'd say regular at fast pace you can go. But let's really have a listen at how this thing sounds really cranked up. So there you have it. Now you know what the XP farm is. It's insane and you can do it yourself. It takes a little bit of work to understand how far you got to get in the actual quest of the main easter egg. But once you get that down, you can power through this pretty easily. I'd say the hardest part 
is getting the panel done. That's right here, you're gonna see I'm at number four. There's actually four panels you have to change colors on, and that is a step you'll have to get past. And uh, you do have a little bit of time to get this done, but the more players you have, the better. Two players can knock it out easy. It's the right hand of God is what you have to pretty much complete that sequence. And upon moving into the left hand of God, you can activate the two switches. But if for some reason you can't activate those switches yet, it's because you haven't examined the right hand of God. Please note that you have to get that done first, then the two switches, then it unlocks the master switch, which will reveal the panel you can shoot with the Tesla gun. It doesn't have to be upgraded. That's why this XP farm is so awesome. It just doesn't have to be upgraded. So there's a lot less work that has to be accomplished. But after you do that, you can enter in the codes with the Brenner head. It's part of the sequence of getting the Tesla gun anyway. A Brenner will spawn. You'll need the head. Shine it on both of the codes, and that will mean you don't have to go another round. So as long as you get the Brenner head and shine it on the codes itself, it locks it in. And that's what you need to achieve. You don't have to go another round to do each side. I feel like that is a pretty common misconception. A lot of tutorials out there that you'll see will say, you have to go another round after shining the Brenner head on the code in order to lock it in. That's not true. And so I just wanted to clear that up in case a lot of you guys had confusion. But you will have to defend this tower. There is two sets of sequences here that you'll have to get through. So it takes a little bit of work, but overall with four players, we managed to get through all of this dirty work in 15 minutes and then use the other 15 minutes to pretty much grind through all the rest of the prestige with the actual XP farm. There's a lot of XP that's earned by collecting the red talon and the more you keep grabbing it, it just racks up over and over again. And I needed to let you guys know before this is actually gone, because this might be your only chance to get through the heavy weight of the first 10 prestiges in order to actually start leveling up, because you have to get a thousand levels after that, and that should be the initial grind. Like when we were in Infinite Warfare Zombies, the initial grind was a thousand levels, so you didn't have to get through 10 prestiges. And don't get me wrong, I like this grind that Sledgehammer's putting us on. It's just that there's no sort of public events that happen within the game, like right here at the tower. If this was an actual public event taking place and you would gain extra XP just for being here, those types of events aren't actually occurring in this world that they've created. And that's something they can improve upon for sure and hopefully Treyarch will take it to that limit in the future coming up. So right now, what we're dealing with is a very minimalistic XP system that rewards you based on something you can't see. So we don't have an XP progression bar that we can pull up either in our select menu or our start menu, which is a problem. We can't see how we're earning XP that well unless we end a game and test it that way, and that takes deaths to do. So it's not idealistic. But none of this seems like a live integrated experience. It seems like this is separated from the actual developer itself and updates get pushed to it where we get separated from the game in order to update it. I'd like to see a system where updates come in and they're fluently placed where it doesn't appear to affect the gameplay at all because that's what's core and what we love about it the most. As well as the falling zombies. Why are these falling zombies blocking my entire train and stopping my progression where I can't run around them? That is a problem, the random spawn, the jump scare factor, it gets in the way of actually playing the game. And that is something I'd like to see definitely worked on, some sort of nerf happening where it just doesn't happen. Just get rid of it, it's terrible, and it blocks your path and it's not right. But I love the fact that we might be getting weekly and daily challenges coming in to zombies. It's something I feel was a lost art form that Infinite Warfare brought to the table. I don't think we should be going backwards on things that the community definitely deems positive. And there needs to be a better communication factor for that occurring because it seems like Sledgehammer is behind the ball more so than Infinity Ward even was. And I don't know how that happened. We do have a double XP event coming up the 22nd through the 26th here in Zombies. And I'll keep putting that in my videos so you guys know what's coming up. Uh, but there's a lot more yet to come during Winter Siege. And best believe, I'm going to have you covered. And that's why you should stay subscribed so you stay up to date on all the latest Zombies information. Everything that I'm posting is right up to the minute once I post it. So this is definitely information you're not going to want to miss. We're entering into a very darker time on the internet where people are just clickbaiting just because they want you to see their videos. 
That's not my intention. My intention is to bring you some of the best quality news information and patch notes updates out there, along with some of the people I work with, Damon That Game, Cod Zombies HQ, Skizzlax, Craig FPS. These are people I look up to and work with constantly, so we're out to, for your best interest. So be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Violent out.